Today I'm tying a variation on a really classic wet fly pattern called the partridge in green. It doesn't require a lot of materials and we'll finish it in under 5 minutes. You can tie this on whatever straight shank hook you'd like. A wet fly or a nymph hook will sink a little more quickly and a dry fly hook will float a bit before submerging. I have a size 12 on and I'm starting with olive thread. The abdomen of this fly is just a thread base. The classic one is relatively flat but you can taper the body of yours if you'd like. Take wraps up and down the shank to form a smooth base and stop an eye length behind the eye of the hook. Form a really thin dubbing noodle for the thorax. This little bulb will give the soft hackle a bit of support while the fly swings so that the hackle fibers stay splayed out and form a teardrop around the hook. Finally, end with your thread in front of the dubbing. Prepare a starling feather by stripping off the fuzzy bits at the base of the feather. I usually grab a feather from the chest or the neck of the bird because these fibers tend to be nice and plush. Orient your feather so that it is concave up, meaning it dishes upwards like a smiley face. You want the dull side of the feather facing up and the shiny side facing down. Take a few thread wraps around the stem of the feather and anchor it into place. Then preen the feather backward and take a few wraps in front and cut the excess stem. For the collar, use hackle pliers and grab the tip of the feather. As you take touching wraps, keep grooming the fibers rearward, trying your best to avoid having any fibers stick out towards the front of the fly. About three or four wraps for the collar is usually enough. When you're happy with it, take a few thread wraps around the waist end of the starling feather. Trim off the excess starling and take a few thread wraps to clean up and form a small head. End with a four or five turn whip finish and that's it. You can dab on a bit of head cement and pluck out any loose stubbing. This is a really easy fly to start with and a great way to practice soft hackle collars. Try it out and let me know what you think in the comments.